Joplin residents gathered Wednesday evening at Cunningham Park to remember and commemorate the day two years ago an EF5 tornado brought destruction and heartache to their community. Joplin is many things, but right now I believe that we all know that you're a nation speaking of hope. A sign that in times of great need we are not alone. A sign that wounds do heal. Though sometimes they still hurt. That life changes, but it goes on. And as it does, the power of hope lifts our hearts and compels us forward. That when there are stories of great tragedy, there are also stories of heroes and a reminder that they live in our midst every day. While the evening brought back memories of sorrow and destruction, it also allowed for reflection and pride on the accomplishments the community has made over the past two years. So just uh, an opportunity, first of all, I think, to commemorate and remember those who, uh, who we lost two years ago, but then also um, have a little celebration of, of, of what we've accomplished since uh, May 22nd, 2011. The memorial event titled Resilience Resolve Realization comes the same week an EF5 tornado struck more Oklahoma this year, and the Joplin community has rallied together to offer support. This has been very nice. I'm just glad everybody can get together and still have the hope to get everything rebuilt and keep on going. I just want to send my prayers out to more because we've been there and we've been through it and we We'll get through it and so will they. Two years ago, a friend of mine was, uh, her house was destroyed in the tornado. And I wanted to represent her and her daughter, plus three church members that were lost at my church on that fateful night. I think this is just superb the way it's brought together and how the community has come together. Several national and local speakers addressed the crowd in an additional $20 million grant from the U.S. Economic Development Association was awarded for additional cleanup. The city of Joplin was also awarded part of a $585,000 national grant and will work with Drury University architecture students to create an open space memorial for recovery and healing at Cunningham Park. I'm from Drury University and we have been coming down here since the tornado. It was wonderful to be able to uh, represent the TKF Foundation and announce you know, a significant award to build something that I think will really help the people of Joplin heal by being in an open space sacred place. This kind of brings things you know, full circle back to, uh, to help uh, reconnect with ones who we work alongside with, uh, digging out, you know, digging rubble and clearing debris and uh, feeding people meals. I think it's just a good opportunity for folks to, uh, to reconnect with one another and hopefully they walk away with a sense of, uh, of community.